Inside the box we have the docking station, USB 3.0 cable, power adapter, 12 volts, 3 amps and simple user's manual. Let's look closely at the main unit. It has this nice dust cover, USB 3.0 port, power input and on-off switch. Nice rubber feet which hide screw holes, two slots marked as A and B for 2.5 and 3.5 inch drives, clone button and LED indicators. Alright, so let's plug this in and see how it works. It's plug and play device, so there's no need to install any additional software or drivers. Now put your drive into a slot and power on the station. Here's a new drive, and as you can see I have full access to the file system. So we can easily recover data from crashed operating system or access the data on some old drives from a broken laptop or desktop. When you're done using a hard drive, click the safely remove hardware icon and eject your device before turning off the docking station. Ok, so now I'm gonna use the offline mode, which means that computer is not required. The docking station must be disconnected from a computer, otherwise it's not gonna work. Then put the source drive into bay A, this is the drive you wish to copy data from. Next insert a target drive into slot B. The target drive must be equal or larger capacity than the source one. In my particular case, this is half terabyte and one terabyte drives. Power on the docking station, finally press and hold the clone button for about 3 seconds until 100% LED lights up. Release and immediately press again. Once complete, you can switch the station off and remove the drives. The target drive is offline because it has a signature collision with the source drive. You can either remove the source drive or right-click the disk and select online. As you can see, the half terabyte drive was cloned as it is. Using Disk Manager you can extend this partition. Or using Partition Wizard or Acronis you can extend all partitions the way you want it. Need a dual bay docking station for your hard drives and SSDs? Do you also need cloning features for easy transfer of data? Well, I have this super amazing product that has been trusted by so many professionals to solve these two questions. So first of all, let's get into the unboxing of this thing and let me talk to you about the key features of this docking station. Okay, so let's get into this. So as you can see, we've got the docking station just over here, and I'll explain a few of the key features in this in a moment. And then you get this little box, which is just full of a couple of accessories that you will need. So you get a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, and it's nice and thick, made really, really well. And then you also get a power adapter in the box too. And then lastly, you get an instruction manual, which as you can see is laid out really, really well 
with lots of clear instructions on how to use this product as, as well as some instructions on how to use this on PC as well as Mac. On the bottom, as you can see, we've got four rubber feet as well as some markings telling you what obviously this product is. And then we've also got the two drive bay slots. This docking station enables you to get access to your three and a half inch hard drives as well as your two and a half inch SSDs. All you have to do is pop them into the slots and honestly, that is it. You have access for everything that you need to copy, transfer and write to and from your storage. Everything is just plug and play and makes this great for both Mac and Windows systems. The USB-C connection makes it possible for transfer speeds of up to five gigabits per second, which is more than fast enough for almost all of your two and a half inch SSDs, as well as obviously your hard drives. Just to let you know that most SSDs have speeds of around 550 megabytes per second. So this 625 megabytes per second connection won't bottleneck you at all. And if that wasn't enough, we've added a feature that makes it possible for you not to need your computer at all for cloning your data from one drive to another. This is great for anyone who is upgrading from their hard disk drives to SSDs, as you won't need your PC running, which you might not be able to do if you're using the hard drive that your PC is using. All you need to do is insert the drives, starting with slot A, which is the drive that has all your data, then insert a blank drive into slot B for the data that you want to copy to, then press the clone button and wait for the status LEDs to go from the 20% icon all the way up to the 100% icon and you're done. Now these are all tool free so there's no need to insert it into a cage before inserting it into this docking station. You literally just pop it in and you're ready to go. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.